Hello and welcome to the core concept video on monitoring AX 2012. Before we start, it's very important to know and understand the need for an overall monitoring solution for AX and the benefits you get from the System Center Monitoring Pack. Dynamics AX 2012, as you know, is built on top of a functionally rich set of stack components, such as Windows Server, SQL Server, SharePoint, IIS, and so on. In order for all pieces of AX 2012 to be available and working, it's very important for each of these components to be available and also configured correctly so that your AX 2012 system is available and performing at its best. System Center Operations Manager provides a framework and the monitoring pack for AX 2012, along with the management packs for SQL Server, SharePoint, Windows Server, etc., allow you to monitor the availability, configuration, and performance of your entire AX 2012 environment. So what we are going to look at today is a brief overview of the monitoring pack for Dynamics AX 2012 in System Center. Let's start off with the installation and configuration process for the monitoring pack. The installation process involves three steps. You first download the MSI from the System Center catalog and extract it onto a folder on your computer. Import the extracted MP files using the Operations Manager console. The configuration steps include configuring the different AX 2012 computers that need to be managed, configuring the run as accounts, which are credentials required on the different machines where the monitoring pack executes. And last is an optional step where you can configure the primary monitoring AOS for Dynamics AX 2012. Let's do a quick walkthrough of the installation and configuration steps using the System Center Operations Manager console. To install the MP files, select Administration on the Navigation pane, select Management Packs, and choose the Import Management Packs action on the right-hand pane. Choose to add the MP files from disk and select the MP files that were extracted from the MSI that you downloaded from the System Center catalog. On this system, the MP files have already been imported. Next, you can use the Discovery Wizard to select the different AX 2012 computers to manage. To configure the Run As Accounts for the monitoring pack, select Accounts under the Run As Configuration node and create two accounts that you will require. The first account is a Dynamics AX Administrator account. This account must be an AX2012 user with administrative privileges. The AX2012 database reader account must be a user account that has read access to the Dynamics AX2012 database. You must then associate these accounts with the run as profiles for the monitoring pack. Select profiles, pick the account that you need to configure and walk through the wizard. In this example, the profiles have already been configured. Now that we have installed and configured the monitoring pack, let's look at the capability that it provides. The AX2012 monitoring pack automatically discovers all AX2012 components, like your EP computers, reporting servers, analysis servers, Dynamics AX2012 databases, and the different frameworks that need to be monitored. You have multiple views within the Operations Manager console to view the health of your AX2012 system. You can view events generated from multiple machines using a single location within the Operations Manager console. You can also measure the activity that is happening on your AX system using the various performance counters that are available within the monitoring console. And last but not the least, your administrative tasks are made a lot simpler using context-sensitive SCOM tasks. So now let's take a look in the Operations Manager console and see how all of this monitoring actually works. 
To start monitoring your AX2012 system, open the Ops Manager console and select the monitoring navigation pane on the left hand side. After you have installed the AX2012 monitoring pack, you should see an entry in the tree for Microsoft Dynamics AX2012. Expand this node to browse through all of the information that's collected by the AX monitoring pack. Now let's focus on the three key areas of monitoring. The first one is the ability of the monitoring pack to discover your entire environment and you as an administrator making sense of all of the components and the states of these components. The monitoring pack discovers all of the databases in your system. It discovers your application object servers, your enterprise portal servers, the various framework components like your batch framework and your integration framework, and your reporting servers. Let me click on the environment health node because this node or view represents the entire health of your AX2012 system. There are multiple views that you can use to see the same information. The one that you're looking at is a state view. There's another view which is a more visual representation of the same information. So let me show you how to get to that view. Select the environment that you're interested in, right click and choose open diagram view. Now this view visually represents your entire AX environment. As you can see, there are analysis services, there's clusters, your AX database, the different framework components, your EP sites, and your reporting servers. All of them are represented in one easy to view uh, diagram. So let's actually drill down into a few of these nodes here. As you can see, the AOS clusters indicates that there might be a problem. So let's drill down into the clusters and see what could be wrong. These nodes seem to indicate that they're fine, so let's not worry about those. I'm going to click on the client AOS. This is a cluster with two AOS instances on it, the third instance on this machine and the fourth instance on this machine. The third instance seems to be fine, so let's drill into the one that has a problem. And as you can see, all the monitors for this AOS, such as the pings for the RPC port, the NetTCP port, and the service calls are all failing. So this seems to indicate that there's something fundamentally wrong with this AOS. So now that we've looked at discovering the environment and kind of making sense of all of the components in their states, let's go into a more detailed look at how to monitor your AX system. There seems to be an issue with AOS instance number four. So let's try and figure out what could be going on. I'm going to select the instances node under AOS. And it shows four AOSs. Two of them are healthy. One has a warning and one's critical. So let's see which one is the fourth instance. It seems to be this one. It says AOS ID 04 and it's red. So right click, select open and go into the health explorer and it'll give you an indication of why. And it looks like it's because the AOS is not running. Now, one thing I wanted to show you is the ability for an administrator to proactively know that something's gone wrong, even without having to come and open up and drill through these nodes within the Ops Manager console. The concept within SCOM that makes this happen is the alerting framework. So let me close this. And let's click on the active alerts node within AOSs to see if any alerts were generated. And as you can see, it looks like there was an alert generated because the AOS stopped running. Now, as an administrator, I can immediately try to resolve this problem by clicking this easy link to start the AOS. Let me go ahead and kick that off. And it's as simple as that. All you've done is you've been alerted that an AOS was not running, and you've been able to start that AOS relatively easily. Now, as a SCOM administrator, you can also configure these alerts to send you either emails, pages, um, or IMs uh, when these alerts arrive within SCOM so that you don't have to be in front of the console to receive these alerts. And this really makes the administration tasks uh, a lot easier and a lot more proactive. Now, let's take another example of you know, how as an administrator you can detect issues that could potentially affect uh, the performance of your, of your AX system. So I'm going to click on databases because I didn't notice that one of the databases had um, indicated a warning. So I'm going to go here and go into the Health Explorer view to find out what could potentially be wrong. 
So it looks like two of the monitors have failed. So I'm going to select one of them. And as you can see, one of the best practices when you create your Dynamics AX database is to ensure that the data file and the log file for the AX database are on separate physical stores. When this AX environment was created, the two data file, the data file and the log file were created on the same physical store or drive. And this has been flagged as an issue. Now, let me show you another way of uh, figuring out what kind of activity is going on um, on your AX uh, system. If you select the events pane, um, this view shows you all of the events that are being generated on your AOSs, regardless of which machine they're on. So this kind of helps you as an administrator to troubleshoot issues. Um, you can also click the sessions link um, under the performance node. This gives you an idea of all of the active sessions that are currently open. Uh, this includes the total number of sessions, the number of EP sessions, the number of bridge client sessions, and the number of business connector sessions. Um, another view is your process uh, counters. These are the, the windows counters for each of your AOSs, and you can start looking at these to kind of gauge uh, how actively each AOS is being used. So all of these performance counters, uh, not only for the AOS, but you can also see there are, there are a bunch of counters for EP, uh, for the batch framework and the integration framework. These counters give you an idea of the kind of activities that's going on within your AX system and whether they are performing well. And you can also try to create some trend reports on these counters. The last thing that I wanted to show you is uh, the SCOM tasks. Now, as an administrator, there are certain activities that you tend to do a lot more often um, than others. And we've made it a lot easier for you to use uh, the SCOM operations manager console uh, to do some of these activities. So let me click on instances. And you can see on the actions pane, there's a whole bunch of links here. Um, I've actually shown you one, which is uh, starting the AOS. You can use things like stopping the AOS if you want to bring it down for maintenance. You can use the accept uh, new client sessions or reject new client sessions if you want to put specific AOS instances in single user mode uh, if you want to perform some kind of administrative or maintenance uh, activities on those. The view online users is also a nice way of finding out uh, what which users are actually on the system. The counters that you saw under the sessions node will only give you a count. But if you want to find out which users those are, you can just you know maybe select one of the AOSs and select view online users um, and click the run button. What the SCOM console is now doing is it's invoking services to AX and it's trying to get a list of all of the users that are currently logged on to the system. So if you scroll down here, it looks like there are six active sessions by one user, which is MBS user. All of them seem to be admin sessions. So the admin immediately knows that this AOS is actually okay to shut down if he wants to bring it down for whatever reason. Um, so now you've seen within one console, you know, it's, it's extremely easy for you as an administrator or an end user to figure out which components are installed, how well they're configured or how well they're performing. Um, and it's also very easy for you to perform the most common administrative tasks using just simple clicks on the actions pane. The AX monitoring pack is a great tool and it's a must have in an admin's toolkit for your monitoring and your business continuity strategy. I hope you learned how to leverage this tool to ensure that your AX system is configured properly and it's also available at all times for your end users. Thank you very much.